Tonight, SmackDown begins the journey to the Royal Rumble. I'm Michael Cole here with John Bradshaw, Layfield at ringside, and we're less than a month away from one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. That's right, and the road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. It's a co-presentation of SmackDown and Raw, so the stakes are high. It's the perfect opportunity for SmackDown to once again demonstrate our superiority over Raw. Good evening, and welcome to SmackDown, coming to you tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Atlanta's ready to go, and I'm just as fired up as this sellout crowd. With good reason. You and I know both what's coming up, and these fans are definitely getting their money's worth tonight. Oh! And there's the counter. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Oh no, the referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything. No ref means no rules. Gregory Helms used to enjoy tremendous fan support once upon a time, but he drove his fans away when his attitude changed. Oh, wah, wah. Who needs a bunch of eight-year-olds screaming your name when you could be wearing some championship gold? I'd like to think <clears throat> that it's possible to do both. Obviously, Helms disagrees. <clears throat> Great reversal! Ugh. Man, this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you anything can happen here in the WWE. Yeah. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face it off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Oh. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. That was a textbook reversal. Uh. Uh. He saw that one coming. Uh. Uh. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous... He's showing absolutely no respect for his opponent. Yeah, you can show off for the crowd if you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. Actually, I think it's a great display of confidence on the part of this great superstar. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business... Oh, no, he's looking for a weapon. This could cause a serious injury. Oh, look at that. He's bleeding like a stuck pig. I can't tell if that's a cut or a broken nose, but either way, the referee might need to stop this fight. 
The ref's not gonna stop the match. It's just a little blood. Be a man, yeah. would you? Man, this Finley is so tough, so aggressive, and so ruthless. I just love watching this guy work. And you'd think that someone will all... They made the tag. Here we go. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely oh. not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE champion, has had his share of injuries over the years. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they are going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad he's tagged. It. Look at the confidence. He's letting his opponent know what's up. Look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, but that kind of thing's not going to win you the match. <laughs> These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that the superstars didn't give it everything they got. The Undertaker's got an impressive history here in WWE, but you're only as good as your last match. How can you say that? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. Undertaker has earned his rep, no doubt about it, but you got to know when to call it. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. It looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. Tombstone power. There's the cover. Can One, he do it? Two, three. Gregory Helms is the longest. He's not leaving here in a very good mood. Can you blame him? His partner no showed and left him hanging. I can't believe. We do that, especially this close to the Royal Rumble. Yeah, something stinks. Normally, I'd say it's your cheap cologne, but something's up. I don't think it will take long for us to find out what rumors travel fast in this business. Yeah, and once we find out who's responsible, I think there will be some payback in their
Look, Stephanie has managed to recruit a few more superstars for us by going through their girlfriends. With the help of these guys, you should be able to completely dominate the Royal Rumble. So we've got a tag match this week. Fine by me. Any friend of Shane's and Stephanie's is a friend of mine, if you know what I mean. My moron of an ex-tag team partner actually requested a no disqualification match against me this week. Can you believe it? I know I can count on your support during the match as a fellow friend of Shane and Stephanie's. I'm going to manage our pal in his match this week, and you're welcome to join the party. It should be a great way to show the rest of the locker room exactly what they've got to look forward to at the Royal Rumble. Welcome to SmackDown. The Royal Rumble is just over three weeks away. Michael Cole and JBL on commentary, and now we know what happened to the fourth man in last week's tag team match. Yeah, he deliberately no-showed and formed an alliance with his opponents. The three of them have vowed to dominate the Royal Rumble match. Yeah, but do the math. Three of them versus 27 other superstars. Good luck with that. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as... Look at that. Heads go in to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Watch it. He reversed it. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding, no matter what call you make, you're gonna get on the bad side of at least one uh, superstar. And that's about the last place you wanna be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, I know. Nice quick counter there. <coughs> Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're gonna be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, that's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can oh. literally feel the disappointment radiating uh. off them. It's not a pretty sight. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. 
wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match, and the fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. When you think of how many years Finley has been in... You know, there's such <clears throat> a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Nice reversal. It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There are thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up. And you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your jaw wired shut. I don't think there's a superstar on the roster with as much drive and determination as Matt Hardy, and these fans certainly react to that. Yeah, well, they might react even better to a win every now and then, if you ask me. Well, excuse me, but I didn't hear a bell. This match is still going on last I checked. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. And for a lot of guys, their WWE career is their life. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. Finley's one of the toughest SOBs I've ever seen in this business, and I've shared the ring with plenty oh. of them. Oh, cry me a river. Yeah. You have to do whatever it takes to win around here if you want to go anywhere, and Finley knows it. If there's a more overrated superstar on the SmackDown roster than Matt Hardy, I couldn't tell you who it is. Overrated? Hardy's a multiple time tag team champion, a former Cruiserweight champion. <laughs> yeah, but to hear him talk, he's the second coming or something. And if you ask me, he's just second rate. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup, and I haven't been disappointed. I didn't say I'm not disappointed, but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner some other time. Oh, man, I guess if you're gonna dish it out, you better be able to take it. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? This match proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the Ugh. dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Even if you did, you'd have to hear about puppies and government mules and scalded dogs. It's like a zoo over there. Oh. These superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, you're not going to win a match if you're blown up two minutes into it. <laughs> you can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. So 
Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you gotta be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You know that if you actually ever step between those ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. You know, I'm gonna replace you with somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to... Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, and he's feeding off that energy right now. He's got this crowd solidly behind him, and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. Going up that turnbuckle hurts a hell of a lot less than coming down from it. Oh. There's no questioning Finley's toughness or that mean streak that runs straight through him. He can be downright sadistic to his opponents. Yeah, Belfast. Pretty tough town, isn't it? That's an understatement. Belfast makes He's looking to finish this off right here. That could do it. The twist of fate. <coughs> no disrespect, but when is Matt Hardy just going to pack it in and call it a day? I don't think you're ever going to see that from Matt Hardy. He's simply got too much passion and determination. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know you're coming oh. up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. I cannot remember the last time I've seen a crowd this pumped up. I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. <laughs> Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Oh. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on the mat, shoulders One, down. This two, could be it. Three.
We're just over two weeks away from the Royal Rumble. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and all of SmackDown has been rocked by the revelation that our champion has been plotting against Mr. McMahon. I can't believe that idiot was stupid enough to try and sabotage the WWE chairman like that. And to make matters worse, he apparently recruited Mr. McMahon's own children for the conspiracy. I don't know what's going to happen, but I promise you, hell hath no fury like Mr. McMahon. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely oh. not. These are trained WWE superstars, and even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE champion, has had his share of injuries over the years. I think it's a shame the way Gregory Helms threw away all of his fan support One. when he decided to stop being the Hurricane. I totally disagree. For me, One. that is when Helms started to become a real serious competitor here in the Two. WWE. Three. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. Four. No kidding, no matter what call you make, you're gonna get on the bad side of at least Five. one superstar. And that's about the last place you wanna be if you're not a superstar yourself. Six. Trust me, I know. One. He dodged that bullet. Two. Even if Three. you wind up winning a match like this, you're gonna be feeling it for the next week. Four. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and Four. seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment Two. radiating off them. Look at the confidence. He's letting his opponent know what's up. He'd better watch out, though. His cockiness could backfire in a major way. He slipped out of that one. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that kind of hop, it's tough to live up to expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Oh. Oh. Man, this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was gonna be intense. We knew it was gonna be physical, but I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an under... My God, would you look at that. Talk about a crimson mask. It's unfortunate, but you always run that risk in a match <sighs> like this. Unfortunate? <sighs> what are you talking about? This is great. Instead of pandering to the fans, you should really One. keep your head in the mat. This is just dumb. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological Three. boost. Four. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. <coughs> Uh-oh. You know what's coming next. Tombstone pile driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? This could be three right here. One, two, three. Night after night, the W. Looking at them now, it's hard to believe that these two were allies just last week. Well, that was before somebody decided to 
the plot against Mr. McMahon. And I'm sure that the outcome of that match didn't help matters. Hell no. They tore each other apart in there like a couple of wild dogs. And with that victory, his Royal Rumble entrance number improves by one. Yeah, but you know what the difference is between the first or second guy in the Rumble? Nothing. your Royal Rumble entry conditions, but don't worry. I'm meeting with the diva girlfriends of our allies and coming up with a plan that will make sure you win all of your qualifying matches and get a high entry number. Look, don't waste your breath telling stories about how Steffi and I were masterminds of the conspiracy against our father. It doesn't matter who believes you because we've got our dad's trust, and that's all that matters. The Royal Rumble is one week from this Sunday. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and things have gone from bad to worse for the ringleader of the conspiracy against Mr. McMahon. That's right. He got punked out by Shane McMahon yesterday, and it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Shane was obviously upset at the plot against his father and decided to do something about it. Yeah, and I get the feeling he's not done with him yet. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing <laughs> left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know where you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. <laughs> Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's uh. for sure.
These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? One. Two. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the Three. legendary <gasps> dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and getting your bell rung on those steel steps is not going to improve Five. your odds uh, of winning any. It certainly isn't, and a lesser superstar Six. wouldn't be able to get up from this. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction, and this is just dumb. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological Dude. boost. One. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE Dude. in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. Three. The fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE Four. fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Chest first, right onto the security wall. Six. That's going to take some time to recover from, but time is a luxury. Oh, man, I guess if you're going to dish it out, you better be able to take it. Here's the pin. You feel like a jerk when someone counters you like that. This is oh, 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 look at that. He's bleeding like a stuck pig. I can't tell if that's a cut or a broken nose, but either way, the referee might need to stop this fight. The ref's not gonna stop the match. It's just a little blood. Ugh. Be a man, would you? <coughs> Regardless of how you personally feel about Matt Hardy, you've got to respect his drive, his energy, and his passion for this business. Yeah, but that will only take... You know, there's such a thing as playing to the oh. crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Nice reversal. This match proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like yeah. this on Raw. Even if you did, you'd have to hear about puppies and government mules and scalded dogs. It's like a zoo over there. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love it, and he's feeding off that energy right now. 
And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. Who cares what they think? All he wasted no time going One, for that pin. Two, three. Man, what a match. make any Royal Rumble plans if I were you. My man and I are going to make sure you never make it there. And if you think we're going to take the fall for conspiring against Mr. McMahon, think again. Listen, player, you're one of SmackDown's best chances of winning the Royal Rumble, and I'm doing what I can to keep Mr. McMahon from kicking you out of it altogether. But let me be clear, I don't like being stuck in this position, not one bit. I've done all I can do, player. Mr. McMahon's made up his mind, and there's no changing it. If you lose this match, you're out of the Royal Rumble, and you can kiss your WrestleMania championship match goodbye. If you think there's any way we're going to let you beat us, think again. If you win, we're out of the Royal Rumble, and that's just not going to happen because Matt Hardy will not die. <laughs> 